Hi everyone and welcome. In this video I've come up with two examples of code that will cause deadlocks in the MySQL server. Unlike the code from my previous video on deadlocks, these two examples look more or less like the real life. Let's begin. In my first example, imagine John and Mike are best friends and uh, they do things together, they borrow money from each other and one morning John wakes up and he remembers that he owes Mike 200. So he goes to his banking app and he wants to return the money. So in the database the banking app starts a transaction. Then it subtracts the money from John's account. And while this is happening, Mike wakes up and remembers that he owes John some money as well. So he goes to his banking app and he starts a transaction. Okay, and the first thing this transaction wants to do is, is to subtract the money from Mike's wallet. Let it be 500. Now let me check what's going on with my locks real quick. As you can see, we've got two exclusive locks here. Mike's transaction set a lock on Mike's wallet, while John's transaction set a lock on John's wallet. This is how MySQL makes sure that none of these records will get changed by anyone else in the meantime. So now let John finish his part of the transaction. So he wants to update Mike's wallet and add 200 there. And as you can see, the query is hanging. This happened because this query wants to set an exclusive lock on Mike's wallet. So it's waiting for Mike's transaction to release it. And you can see it in this table. You can see there is one lock that is waiting. So now let's go back to Mike's transaction and try to add the money to John's wallet. And you can see this operation failed because of the deadlock that happened here. So MySQL detected the deadlock and tried to resolve it by cancelling this transaction. And thus John's transaction was able to proceed. Let me just commit it and see what's, what's in the wallet's table. So as you can see John's transaction was able to proceed and uh, the money was subtracted from John's account and added to Michael's. As for Michael, he will probably have to repeat the money transfer. Okay, that's it for part one, let's move on to the next part. So for the second part, let's imagine that we have a very bad user that has just left a very offensive comment on some forum website. He knows he will get banned for this comment, so he wants to delete it. And let's say when we delete a comment, we also want to change this number here, which represents the total number of comments made by a user. So we will need two queries and because this operation is atomic, these two queries will need to run within a single transaction. In the meantime, the forum administrator has seen the comment and wants to ban the user who made it. But not only does he want to change the status of the user, he also wants to change the status of all of his comments. So let's go to the blue terminal, start a transaction and run this. And like in the previous example, the locks table will show us two exclusive locks made by each session respectively. So now let's go back to the user session and try to update the total number of his comments. You see this query is hanging because it's waiting for the lock on this record to be released. In the meantime, the administrator wants to ban the comments made by the user. Whoops, and he encounters a deadlock. And like in the previous example, the other transaction was able to proceed. So if we commit it here, all the changes it made will apply. So you see the comment was deleted and the total number of comments was subtracted down to zero. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.